Sam, how's it feel? This is unbelievable. Uh, you know, it's still kind of all said and in. It's, uh, I, I can't even really put it into words. You know, I couldn't be more happy and, and more excited for, for this moment and then to be a part of the San Jose Sharks. It's, it's unbelievable. Can you tell me about the interview with the Sharks uh, at the Combine and any other contact that you have with them? Just how has that gone? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I met with them a couple times through the year and then at the Combine again. And, you know, it was always great, great interviews, great talks and that kind of stuff. And, you know, being in London with Casper Hall in there as well, you know, I think there was you know, even a little more eyes on there with, with him being there as well. So uh, it's just, again, you know, I couldn't be more excited. Are you thrilled that you might be teammates with Casper Houghton and, and Teal soon? <laughs> Absolutely. He's made it, you know, so much fun to play with in London. And, you know, I, I couldn't be more happy that, you know, it's going to be able to continue for us. Uh, did you and San Jose on your radar? I mean, you know, what, what are you expecting when you heard your name called? Were you surprised about what was your first reaction when you heard your name called? Just, you know, pure joy and excitement. Uh, it's kind of, you know, a dream come true, really, you know. To draft to the NHL is, you know, something I've worked for my entire life, and to kind of see the, the the dream become a reality is something that, you know still almost doesn't really feel real, but uh, you know I'm sure it'll set in soon. It's, it's unbelievable. So you're obviously the number one pick back in Southern Green. Join him. How cool is that for you just to see that kind of core prospects that's kind of topped off now by back in the state Yeah, I think you know it's it's a prospect group of you know one of the best in the league, absolutely. And you know I know Mac a good amount, and you know I couldn't be more. More excited to be able to play with him. Uh, I've played two games with him in my life before, so we'll see if we can uh, jump a couple more up there. Uh, the U 17s two years ago. Okay. Oh, Tim, what do you think about now this, this young court group that includes Macklin, Will Smith, and Pista? Like, this is a chance now for you guys to actually bring a cup to San Jose when the previous machine, the Thorntons, Marlowe's, and Gus's were able to do that. I know you just got drafted, but how exciting is that for you right now? Do you have a chance to do that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of the next thing after you get drafted is, you know, what's next playing, if there's anything like that. You know, growing up and seeing, you know, San Jose Sharks team, that was so good with those players that you mentioned. And, you know, to potentially be a part of kind of the next wave with those other guys that you mentioned is, again, just an unbelievable feeling and just kind of, again, pure excitement. And what do you know about San Jose in general? Not really much at all. I've never been to California. Just right now is probably the closest I've ever been to, you know, the Bay Area or whatever. So, you know, I'm excited to, to get down there and learn everything there is. What are uh, what are sharks? What should sharks fans expect from your type of game? Like, what type of game do you play? Yeah, I think they're just getting a, a defenseman who does it all, offense, defense, transitionally, two-way guy who kind of, you know, can can take over any role for you and, and you know play that to a tee. You said back on this past year, you know, what have the London Knights meant for getting you from to this point right now? Yeah, I think like I've said, you know, many times at this point is, you know, they've they've meant almost everything to you know the the career that I've had so far. You know, I have so much uh, so much respect for them and, and how much they've given to me. You know, I, I don't know how I'm ever going to be able you know thank them enough or, or pay them back and all. It's it's just you know an unbelievable feeling to be able to you know continue the legacy of the London Knights. How so much of a resource is it having so many drafted players on your team that you're able to lean on for the draft process? Yeah, it was everything. You know, to have so many guys that have gone through this before, from last year to you know even the year before that I was on the team, so many guys that have you know gone in situations like myself and, and been in these spots. I'm I'm so lucky to to have them and to be able to lean upon them. Who do you model your game after? I, you know, I think I try my best after a guy like Miro Haskinen. I think kind of the way that he can kind of take over games with his skating ability and his IQ is something that, uh, you know, is, is similar to my game already. And a lot of things from his game I try to, you know, pick apart and pull into mine. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, the big thing is the maturity of my game. You know, Dale knows how to get guys to the next level. Same with Mark. That's the big thing about London is uh, when you get to play there, you know, you get put in the best spot to play at the next level. So I think that's uh, the big thing that they've taught me. I think it was the most two, the most fun two months of my life. You know, kind of go to war every night with, with the guys on that team is it really meant everything. Sam, Casper, just the cat. Casper just on fire. Just game. I yeah, I think you know the eye popping thing with him is his shot. You know, it's you know the best shot that I've ever seen, the best shot that I've ever had to defend against. You know, there's no real way to stop it. You just, just kind of kind of. When he gets it off, he's just got to start praying and open because when if he gets it off, it's uh, it's going to be deadly. Sam, I know, uh, I know it's still fresh, obviously, but how much do you sense an opportunity here for you over the next few years with the Sharks, with the way that they're turning things over in terms of you know, and, and, and obviously bringing in some of the young talent that they Yeah, it's really exciting, you know, with all the young guys that are you know a part of the team and, and the other drafted guys that are a part of the team. So. 
you know, just to be able to, to be a part of that is, is really exciting. And, you know, to be on a team that's, you know, young and, and going to get better as, uh, you know, the years go on, it's, it's really, really exciting. How far away do you think you are from your NHL debut? Yeah, you know, it's still so long time until the start of next season, really. So, you know, I'm, I'm open for, you know, a really big off season for myself. And, you know, whenever whenever I'm needed is, is whenever I'm ready. Uh, who did you hug first and who do you owe this moment to? Uh, yeah, I was, I was sitting beside my dad, so I hugged him first and then my mom. And, you know, it really is, I have everything to give to them. I would not be, you know, even close to where I am today without them. So, you know, uh, it really is, you know, they are everything to me. And, you know, I, I'll truly never be able to thank them enough for, for everything that they've ever done for me. Um, last year, Oliver Bonk, of course, was drafted. Um, and then you two are kind of, you know, both being high picks. What does that mean? You know, kind of what you learned from him last year going through this process and then uh, to potentially go into the Flyers next year. And if you go back to the OHL, like kind of taking that number one spot. Yeah, I think, you know, me and Oliver, that, you know, a really good relationship. You know, he's definitely is one of my best friends on the on the nights, and you know, to be the same position and be able to go through the same thing. You know, the year after him was was really huge. He was really the guy that you know I did lean on a lot, asking questions and finding out everything I really could about this uh, about this kind of uh, you know, what, what you're going through this year. Sam, what was today like? Butterflies? Was you know lunch a little tough to get down? Just you know, what were the nerves like today? Ah, uh, you know, it was it was uh, it was nerve wracking. That's for sure. It's you know really the start of the rest of your life with you know the opportunity that's you know in front of me now so you know, I, I ate breakfast i ate breakfast twice and then i didn't eat lunch so uh yeah no it was it's just you know pure excitement now though and you know it was exciting waking up to knowing that uh, you know this was going to happen today yeah i think the, the big thing for me was you know just trusting myself and, and being confident in myself uh, you know, seeing that, uh, you know, the London Knights trusted me and, and the coaching staff and Mark and Dale trusted me to, you know, take the reins a little bit offensively. It meant a lot. And I just kind of took that and, and kind of ran with it a little bit. Okay. Thanks, everyone.